Hello and welcome to Adventures in Small Business. This is a, co a collaborative effort by the U.S. Small Business Administration of Hawaii. Hawaii Small Business Development Center, the Patsy Mink Center for Business and Leadership, and the Veteran Outreach Center of the Pacific. We showcase stories of local small businesses here. My name is Sandra Cancinos and I am with the SBA Hawaii District Office. Today we have Serene Hostelero, who owns Island B Removal. Welcome, Serene, to the show. And I just wanted to talk story today um, about your business and uh, just a unique industry, uh, first yeah. of all. And I know that uh, lately we've been hearing from environmentalists about uh, saving the bees, how the bees do, do so much for the, for mm -hmm. the environment. And i um, very curious to know and, and uh, learn about your business and how it affects Hawaii. Well, thank you, Sandra, for having me on the show. Um, well, we, we noticed when we started working with Hawaii Bee Hotline um, how many calls we started to get during the summertime when the, when the heat gets so hot, the UV rays, the sun, is so intense. I mean, when we stay out in the sun for 20 minutes, we get sunburned. I mean, can you imagine uh, the environment and what's happening to the environment when they have that, that UV rays shining on them? And so the bees um, get really hot, so they're learning to live in our, in our homes, our businesses. All they do is they find a little hole large enough for, for them to enter, and they start building a nest between the walls or in the ceiling. And um, so summertime, we're super busy. Um, the heat really brings the bees active, and, and it freaks everyone out because they don't really know what's happening, why the bee's going in their house. Mm what's going on, um, but the bees need shade, mm -hmm. they, need, um, they need water, so sprinkler systems, um, our water hoses is good access to water, and in their natural environment, maybe there's not enough water for them. Um, so yeah, we're learning that during the summer, fall time, it's, it's, we're getting a lot of calls, people needing help all over the island. So how bees. did your uh, small business come about? How, how, how did you get inspired to work with bees? Or how did did you always want to work in this business as you know actually uh years ago back in 2010 i worked for a packaging company and for about a year i would um go all over the island you know um service the uh, supermarkets other businesses with uh, plastic containers single use plastic containers mm -hmm. and um it wasn't until i was in maui i just felt as I was, you know, going around the island um, servicing um, my customers, I just felt really convicted with um, the single-use containers, and feeling that I, I feel like I'm, uh, you know, polluting Mother Earth. How, how can I work, have a, find a job that is more um, supporting Mother Earth? And, mm -hmm. and I made a decision to leave the packaging company because of the conviction I felt inside. And I was making sixty thousand a year. I was getting commission. It was a good paying job, but it just wasn't enough for me. Mm -hmm. My happiness was more important. So during that time, I've met my other half, and um, his name is John. And uh, we we just were inseparable. And he had a boat. He had a fishing boat, and um, I encouraged him to you know start a, a business and. Mm -hmm and make it become a commercial fisherman and sell his, his fish at the block. And so here I am, um, I quit my job, started working at a, at a restaurant part time, but then we started fishing together and I would drive the boat, he would reel in the fish and he was really excited. Um, at that time, I, I, uh, we, we did that for about a year and at that time I got pregnant. Okay. So we have a son, he was born in uh, 2013 and uh, he still, we, we, he, we still was fishing, but not as much now that we have a new baby. Mm -hmm. um, and he would go by himself, and that made me really nervous. So um, we sort of um, slowed down on the fishing business, commercial fishing business, and started to focus on what could we do. Um, you know, John has an acre and a half of land in Makaha, and he always wanted bees on the property. That was his dream, to mm -hmm. um, have bees on the property. And um, we called Hawaii Bee Hotline in the beginning and um, spoke with Ken. He's the owner. 
of the company. And um, at first, he didn't want to sell us bees because we didn't have a bee suit. We didn't have any knowledge about beekeeping. He's mm -hmm. like, well, that's a liability if I sell you bees. You don't know nothing about bees. But he, um, him and his wife, Penny, uh, brought us in and pretty much uh, took us to the farms that he had bees, uh, Ka'ahumanu Farm and um, Naked Cow Dairy Farm, where oh, okay. they sell cheese. Yeah. And produce cheese in Wainai, and uh, we were fascinated. And when the first time he opened up the bee box, we were just in love with um, the bees and and what they do and how how they work. You know, they're one big organism. Mm -hmm. Like you got twenty to fifty thousand bees in a hive that work together to you know create honey and 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 bring up the population and support the queen so we were in love and then um and then ken uh gave us a call and he said hey you know could you help us with a bee removal um on the weekend mm -hmm. and so we're like okay you know i i was still um w serving uh, at a restaurant and then uh, john got a job working at a um company that cleans uh ac air duct cleaning, so he was working mm -hmm. full-time. And so on the weekends, we would help Hawaii Bee Hotline uh, do bee removals. And um, it, was, it was fun, you know, it was super fun. And uh, he, we pretty much was his apprentice for about two years. Oh, yeah. So a long and, time um, to be an apprentice. And so from there, um, as we started doing bee removals with him and learning, he let us keep some of the hives. So mm -hmm. we were able to have free hives on our property. And then uh, 2016, he said, you know, I'm, I'm getting um, a lot of calls, too many calls, you know. So um, could you, you know, please take the Monday through Friday calls? And then he's like, the only way I am going to hand, handle, give you the calls is if you open up your business. You have to open up a bee removal business, you know, uh, apply, you know. Like every other business does, get your general um, liability insurance, mm -hmm. you know, and, and do it the right way. So um, what we did is we opened up a business, and then from there, he started giving us calls, Monday through Friday calls. So okay. um, from there, we, we, we uh, quit our day jobs, you know. Um, we opened up our business August of 2016, mm -hmm. and... Um, it's been a crazy journey because I never thought, you know, it was a, a, a need to do bee removals. So you know? can you take me through the process of when you get a call, somebody okay. needs bees removed, what is it that exactly that goes on? In, yeah, so I'll, I'll call a customer that, that has a bee problem and, um, you know, of course, half the time they're, they're scared. Um, so, you know, we yeah. kind of have to, like talk them into, you know, what's going on, you know, um, you know, a lot of times they find a little hole and they go into the wall or, you know, sometimes the bees, first 24 hours they move in, they are walking in between the walls or in between the ceiling, looking through any, any little ray of light that will lead them out somewhere, you know, between the walls and the ceiling is pitch black, but you'll see little uh, white lights that will lead them to like recess lightings or other openings and you know, sometimes they'll lead into inside the house. So you'll have hundreds of bees going inside the house because they find little holes through the walls, mm -hmm. and it freaks everyone out. Oh, wow. So what we have to do is um, we'll go to the client's house, and if we're able to help them immediately uh, seal whatever hole that's leading the bees into the house, mm -hmm. and then we kind of have to figure out where the nest is inside the walls or in the ceiling. How long does it take to remove bees? It's about four to five hours. Oh, okay. More or less, depending. I thought you were going to say days because, you know, they're hidden inside the walls and the no. room. No. Okay. Yeah, so we, um, we're able to kind of hone in to where the nest is because, you know, in between walls you have, like, studs, two yeah. studs, and then in between that's where they're pretty much contained unless they're uh, in an older historical home, and depending on how the building is, is built. Okay. And we kind of have to figure out we exactly where. The nest is and then from there we have to make a nice clean cut open uh, sometimes it's outside the exterior wall sometimes it's inside through the drywall and um, nice clean cut open 
we put that that portion that we cut on the side and then we grab the nest and then transfer into our bee box. Okay. We remove whatever comb that they make as well. All the honeycomb brood we transfer into the bee box. So what happens then, to the bees when you remove them? Uh, what we do is um, we re relocate them. Either we take them to Makaha, to our little farm, or we take them, the bees into uh, Wainai Valley, into a five-acre farm. The farmer there, um, his name is Bula. He is a retired fireman, and he grows Tahitian limes, uh, green onions, and uh, dried taro, sells them to down to earth. Oh, okay. And um, a couple years ago, uh, there was um, a really bad forest fire, and um, he said that there was no bees to pollinate his lime. So he asked us to keep bees. So mm -hmm. um, last year, we started keeping bees there. Mm -hmm. Then there was another forest fire that happened. It burned mm -hmm. down our hives. But um, we're pretty much going to um, supply uh, our, our friend, Bula, the farmer, mm -hmm. with the bees. And um, where he lives is just like right against the um, forest reserve. So okay. the bees have the mountain, the forest. They also have the farms around the neighborhood. Wainai Valley. So they have we, free range too. We have a, a clip of um, them just, uh, extracting bees, right? You can put that on. There are your bees. walk us through what's going on in that video? Yes, yeah, so um, in that video, that was a house mm -hmm. that was um, infested with bees. I mean, the, the, the size of the hive in between the walls were about six foot by six foot. And um, a lot of it, you know, was, it took us six hours to remove. So um, that was just a quarter of what you saw. Okay. that we removed and oh, I was going to ask you are your services just in Oahu or also in on other islands just on Oahu oh, just in Oahu okay yeah. okay so you get a lot of just the calls from Oahu and then sometimes uh Hawaii B hotlines get calls from Big Island you know all over the islands okay. and there are um beekeepers bee removal specialists that okay. um that take care okay. of the okay. people on the other islands okay yeah. and then can we show the other um picture so that's inside a house? Yes, that's uh, in a house with a grand opening, a uh, front opening, and um, bees made nests in, in the walls again. They found a little hole. So what happened was, um, this is on the windward side, and something about the roofing, there was a leak, and the, the water leak created a hole on the side of the wall where the bees were able to find and, and enter, and that's where they started building comb. Um, okay. Yeah. And then the second picture would be, uh, yeah, and on the outside. Yeah, that's in uh, Hawaii Kai. Uh, we did an exterior removal up. Um, that was like the third floor. <laughs> we used scaffolding to reach, and then another ladder to get up there. But um, we also work with a, a license, um, license contractor. Mm -hmm to uh, do more intensive work if it, if, if it's to. Okay. Yes. And then here's the last. So this last photo is in Royal Cunia, and we did an exterior removal, and that wall leads to another wall in the bathroom. So we took an exterior wall out, and then also another interior wall that leads to the bathroom tub. So those are bees in the bathroom tub that mm -hmm. we've removed. It's just amazing how they can get in there. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and because of climate change, I feel it's just so hot that bees need to be in a cooler environment sometimes that they find. Okay, we'll be right back with Small Business Adventure. え、
、えー、2時からですね日本,語で日本語で活躍されていらっしゃるハワイのいろいろな方をお招きしてショーをゲストショーをお届けしています。えー、ぜひ、えー、ご覧になってください。Aloha, my name is Mark Schlav. I am the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea program. My program airs every other Monday at 1 o'clock on Think Tech Hawaii. Most of my programs deal with my own life and law experience. Recently, I interviewed Alex Jempel, who I have known for over 30 years, about his voyage. Across the sea as a lawyer from Tokyo to Hawaii. Those are the type of stories that I like to bring and like to talk about. Human stories about law and life. Aloha. Aloha. My name is Wendy Lowe, and I want you to join me as we take our health back. On my show, all we do is talk about things in everyday life, in Hawaii or abroad. I have guests on board that would just Talk about different aspects of health in every, in every way, whether it's medical health, nutritional health, diabetic health, you name it, we'll talk about it. Even financial health, we'll even have some of the Miss Hawaii's on board and all the different topics that I feel will make your health and your lifestyle a lot better. So come join me. I welcome you to take your health back. Mahalo. Hi,、uh, here with Serene、uh, Hostelero with Hawaii Bee Removal.、Um, just talking a story with her about how she got inspired to get into the bee removal industry and、um, what is going on with climate change and the bees having to find shade in, in different areas and houses and roofs and in between walls.、Mm -hmm. So, could you tell us a little bit more about how we as a community can maybe help,、uh, help that? Help the bees out with that? Well, I mean,、uh, I think that if you do notice bees、um, in your, around your area,、um, to call the Hawaii Bee Hotline, or、uh, if you know a local beekeeper that's able to help,、um, contact them because we're able to remove them safely and live. You know, a lot of people don't realize that、um, you know, the bees are, are slowly dwindling due to climate change or. Uh, Varroa mite, small hive beetles, you know,、um, so it's, it's, it is possible to do a live removal. And、um, I also recommend sealing up around your house, especially、uh, during, right before spring, just to walk around your home and see if you have any cracks or, or, or holes to, to seal with、uh, um, either insulation foam or、uh, silicone sealant,、uh, waterproof sealant. Um, because we're noticing a pattern during the, the summer, spring, summer, and even fall time, because we're noticing that、um, it's the, even in fall, it's still pretty hot.、Mm -hmm. And so、um, check around your house, seal any holes that you have, and then you won't have these kind of bee problems happening. Okay. And is there any partnerships that、uh, the Bee Hotline or your company have with the community? Yes,、yeah, so、um, because you know, I was more fascinated about doing bee removals, you know, the, the business aspect of it, I was clueless on. You know,、um, I would rather be out on the field working with bees, but in actuality, in, in order to you know, run a successful bee removal business, you have to really think about the business aspect of it. And,、um, you know, I really got help from、um, Sujen、uh, community in, in Waianae. They have classes there.、Um, and also、uh, Mary at SBA.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what, and, some, what were some of the challenges that you faced maybe starting your business or you know, during your business? Any challenges that you felt? Yeah, I just felt like you know, I just. Threw myself out there and I, I, I winged it. You know, I, I learned online.、Um, so, you know, the、um, online, there's a lot of information that you can, you can、uh, look up. And、um, how, I, uh, how I started the business is I went online and I,、uh, you know, got my, my license and all that, all online. I didn't have to go anywhere. I just 
went on the computer, looked it up, registered everything online. Um, I didn't get to meet Lisa from 2Gen until I met um, Carol Kai. And, and Carol is, uh, she works for the Y9 community. And she really um, wants the Y9 community to connect and, and also provide, you know, like through farmers markets. Mm -hmm. and, and she actually reached out to me in, in hopes to, like, you know, show our, our honey. And at that time, I didn't have much honey to sell mm -hmm. um, because my focus was more on doing bee removals. Yeah. And um, so the, second, the honey is secondary to me. And um, I hope that, you know, in the future, once I get this business going um, and, and work with them, with Tujen that they can, you know, definitely um, steer me to the right direction because I felt like I just went into the business and I didn't know nothing. So I'm, I'm learning um, even Patsy Mink yes. Foundation, Nuala, she, she's very helpful with yeah. um, knowledge about starting up businesses. So we've only been three years, but uh, I've learned so much within the past three years. You mentioned you uh, worked with Mary from SBA. Yeah. And then uh, how, how was she able to guide you or uh, any tools that she gave you that you felt, you know, were very much needed? Or Well, the honey aspect. So um, I had no clue how to run a bee removal business and a honey business. So I went up to Mary and she really helped me with um, kind of just directing me to not opening up another LLC honey removal, honey business, but maybe doing a DBA mm -hmm. um, honey business with the bee removal business and somehow I'm learning to incorporate that through SBA so um, okay. you know it's 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 much easier on your tax guy yeah. <laughs> when you're gonna file taxes I don't think he would be really happy you know having to file two LLCs mm -hmm. and it's much affordable probably to do a LLC DBA through the for honey so I'm still learning. It's it's a it's an ongoing process when it comes to you know running a small business. Yeah. But um, I'm so grateful for you know the local communities that do help. And so you, I know you're still learning. But anything that you've learned that you can maybe share with uh, people who are wanting to start uh, their own business, small business, or maybe go into also the bee removal business. Yeah. So um, have an open mind. You know. Also look into the community. You know, um, the community does um, support local businesses, and through them, you can meet a lot of other small businesses, business owners that are able to um, to support you and guide you. And um, with uh, Tujen, I, I was able to meet uh, another small business owner that makes um, wood boards, mm -hmm. like handcrafted beautiful wood boards, whatever type of wood you want he's able to make for you but he makes a um, special polish and he uses um, my beeswax okay yeah That's so cool. um, we we were able to trade or not trade but eat um, to work together in, mm -hmm. in supporting the business and um, I'm really grateful for that before uh, you mentioned that you wanted to expand to honey anything else besides honey that you might want to expand in uh, definitely uh, with um, the business with Bula's farm, I'm hoping that we can uh, work together and, you know, do farm tours. Um, I also am interested in doing classes as well for schools. Uh, teach him um, how, to, how to beekeep? Yes. Yeah, so okay. um, my son, he, he goes to, to uh, Makaha and um, even the preschool. We're fascinated about um, what, what we do, so they invited us to do a you know, a class and teach the kids about the bees. So I was able to do that with my son. But there is schools that are calling us, mm -hmm. asking, you know, for, um, for, you know, their, for my time to teach about the bees. So that's, that's awesome. another uh, future. You know, yeah. yeah. I'd like that. So uh, for, the, for my last question, um, if you, from this whole sec uh, segment, what is the main message that you want to send out to the community um, regarding bees 
and any anything that involves uh, your company of removal, bees in general, community, mm-hmm. everything all, all together? Uh, bees are, you know, bees are our friends, and we don't necessarily have to, you know, immediately s- spray poison. You know, I, I do recommend calling Hawaii Bee Hotline, mm-hmm. and um, any questions, you know, we're able to help and provide any knowledge um, and also you know yes I, I guess just save the bees, save the bees. <laughs> save the bees don't kill them okay <laughs> so you know uh, just a quick uh, synopsis so, so call don't poison the bees call yeah. um, do you have a website that we can actually go online and, and see yeah, so um, Hawaii assistance? Bee Hotline Okay. Um, Ken is the owner, but he's pretty much our mentor, okay. and um, through him, uh, he'll give us bee jobs. So um, you can also call him and ask for Sirene, okay. you know. But um, website is hawaiibeehotline.com. Well, Serene, I want to thank you so much for coming to the Thanks, show. Um, I appreciate the, the new knowledge of bees and what it takes mm-hmm. to uh, do bee removals. I um, also want to thank the audience for tuning in and. Um, Hopefully to see you next next show. Thank you.